Thanks a lot. Nearly three quarters of a million dollars spent and still convicted. That's how much it cost at least to represent Alec Murdoch in his double murder trial. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live from the newsroom tonight. And Brooke, you got a hold of the numbers for us. Yeah, Shannon, according to court documents, it cost, cost roughly $700,000. And those court documents say that that's actually a conservative estimate. Now, you may remember Murdoch's defense team it consisted of four attorneys, two paralegals, along with support staff. The $700,000 does not include any compensation for legal services preparing the case for trial. Murdoch's defense attorney recently filed a motion asking the court for $160,000 to be transferred from an escrow account. This is so they can prepare or pay the attorney's fees to appeal his recent murder convictions. He said the money from the escrow account is legitimate and untainted. But attorney Justin Bamberg, who represents one of the victims of Murdoch's alleged financial crimes said quote none of Alex's money is untainted in my opinion based on his admissions during his murder trial I also don't believe him not being allowed to take money that could go to his victims for himself instead violates his constitutional rights to the contrary Alec getting that money to fight an appeal only victimizes his victims once again, end quote. Meanwhile, Murdoch is getting one step closer to paying some of his alleged victims. This week, two men bought his Moselle property for millions. Here's a breakdown of where some of the money from that sale will go. According to court records, Alec Murdoch's surviving son, Buster, will collect $530,000. Murdoch's brother, John Marvin Murdoch, will use $290,000 to pay the estate's outstanding legal fees. $100,000 will go to attorney Joe McCulloch. He's representing boat crash victim Connor Cook in a civil suit against Buster. $275,000 will go to a general fund and attorney Mark Tinsley will get a significant share of the funds. He's representing several of the boat crash victims, including the family of Mallory Beach, who was killed in the crash. Back to you. Well, Brooke, when will this money go out? Well, Shannon, I actually spoke to attorney Mark Tinsley on the phone today. He says there still has to be one more hearing before this can all be finalized. But he said that's just more of a formality. He says he's going to get back in touch with me when that hearing happens. Shannon. All right. And you'll let us know then. Yes. Thanks.